Let's say we have the quadratic equation 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 equals 0, which we can solve with the quadratic formula x12 equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In one of my previous videos, how to solve quadratic equations with the quadratic formula, we saw that sometimes when using the quadratic formula, we get a negative number under the radical. Negative numbers under the radical cannot be solved with real numbers, so they have no solution with real numbers. Now, after learning in my last five videos what complex numbers are and how to solve radicals with negative numbers under it, we are able to solve quadratic equations which have a negative number under the radical in the quadratic formula. So let's dive into it and solve this equation. a is 3, b is 4 and c is 5. So we have negative b which is negative 4 plus minus the square root of b squared which is 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 3 times c which is 5. And at the bottom of the fraction we have 2 times a which is 2 times 3. Four squared is 16, and four times three is 12, times five is 60. Two times three is six. Sixteen minus 60 is negative 44. Now it's getting interesting. If we only knew the real number system, this quadratic equation would have no solution and we would be done here. But since our last couple videos we know about complex numbers and we also know that we can write the square root of negative 44 as i times the square root of 44. The 44 we can write as 4 times 11 and then split the radical to the square root of 4 times the square root of 11. The square root of 4 is 2. Now we can split the fraction to negative 4 over 6 plus minus 2i times the square root of 11 over 6. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we get negative 2 over 3 plus minus i times the square root of 11 over 3. The first solution is negative 2 over 3 plus i times the square root of 11 over 3, which we also can write as negative 2 over 3 plus the square root of 11 over 3 times i. And our second solution is negative 2 over 3 minus i times the square root of 11 over 3, which we also can write as 
negative 2 over 3 minus the square root of 11 over 3 times i. And we're done with this problem. Let's do one more example for the sake of practice. I really encourage you to pause the video and try this on your own. Negative 4x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. a is negative 4, b is 5, and c is negative 3. So we have negative b, which is negative 5, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 5 squared, minus 4, times a, which is negative 4, times c, which is negative 3. And at the bottom we have 2 times a, which is 2 times negative 4. Five squared is 25. Negative four times negative four is 16, times negative three is negative 48. And two times negative four is negative eight. Twenty five minus forty eight is negative twenty three. And the square root of negative twenty three is i times the square root of twenty three. Now we can split the fraction to negative five over negative eight plus minus i times the square root of twenty three over negative 8. A negative divided by a negative is positive, so we can write 5 over 8 plus minus i times the square root of 23 over negative 8. The first solution is 5 over 8 plus i times the square root of 23 over negative 8, which we also can write as 5 over 8 minus the square root of 23 over 8 times i. And our second solution is 5 over 8 minus i times the square root of 23 over negative 8, which we also can write as 5 over 8 plus the square root of 23 over 8 times i. And we are done with this problem. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.